Hello everyone, how are you my dear achievers? Today we are here to discuss about the homework question we gave you in Level Up with Equations of Motion, right? So today is the video solution for that homework question. A lot of you said that that question was difficult and yes, I accept and that is why I'm here today. So let's see, the question was, Aryan drops a ball vertically downwards from the top of his house at 0 meter per second. Alright, so if you drop something, obviously the initial velocity is 0, fine. Simultaneously, Kevin throws another ball vertically upward at 50 meter per second. So what is this 50? It's the initial velocity, right? Initial speed of the ball. Fine. From the ground, after how much time will the two balls hit each other? So, start thinking of the question. So, Aryan has dropped a ball and Kevin has thrown a ball with 50 meter per second. The question is, after how much time will they hit each other or will they meet? Okay. The question is clear. Fine. Now, what else is given to us? The height or the distance between the two balls in the initial condition. It is 200. So let's start from this, right? Let's take this as our reference and start from this. So we have the distance between the two balls is 200. All right. Now, he is dropping the ball at 0 meter per second. Kevin is throwing it up with 50 meter per second. All right. The question is, and after how much time will these two balls hit each other or they meet? Same thing, you know? it's same thing. Okay, now let's see. There is one thing which is the key to solving this question. We are, we are, we can assume, see, if it takes distance S1, if it travels distance S1, the ball of uh, Kevin travels S2, it's okay. There are, one thing is that S1 plus S2 will be 200 because that was the initial distance between these two balls, right? Second thing, which is the most important key to solve this question is time. Think of time. Same time he has dropped and at the same time he has thrown. Now, let's say your clock has just started when this ball starts dropping and this ball starts going up, right? T0, we call it. Time is zero. Time starts increasing. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 both the balls are actually traveling for the exact same time. So that is the most important key to solve this question. We need to understand if both the balls are meeting and they both started at the exact same time means they both traveled for the same time and then they met each other. We can't say did they travel the same distance? No, you are not sure. But what are you sure of? They both will travel with the exact same time, right? The time covered will be same. Nice. This, if you understood, this question is done. All right, so let's see. Time taken is T for both the balls. Now, let's start, come on. For the first ball, the ball which is dropped, initial velocity is zero meter per second, we know that. Acceleration, you can take 9.8 also because that's normally what we do. But you know what, I'm saying let's take 10 because time is something you need to find and 10 is easier. So that's why I'm taking as 10, it's okay, right? Now, distance traveled by Aryan's ball is S1, fine. So, what I'll do is, I'll use the equation of motion. Which equation of motion? Because time also I have, by the way. Time is T. They both travel for T time. So, S equals UT plus half AT square. Alright, now U was 0. So, what can I say? S1 equals 0 multiplied by T plus half into A is 10 into T square. Fine, alright. So S1 comes out to be how much? It comes out to be 5t square. And yes, S1 is 5t square. All right, all right. Now, let's see the ball which is thrown up. So what we can say, U is 50 meter per second, right? It was thrown up with 50 meter per second. A is minus 10 meter per second square, sir. Why are you taking minus 10? Here, let's say, if I assume that top is positive and down is negative, right? So U, the initial velocity was upwards means it was positive acceleration is downwards means it is negative that's okay right distance travel by the ball is s2 fine so let's see again we can use the same equation so s2 becomes how much ut means 50 multiplied by t plus half multiplied by a a is how much minus of 10 into t square so it comes out to be 50t minus of 5t square yes that is our s2 now what else we know we know that S1 plus S2 is 200 because that was also given to us in the question, right? So S1 plus S2 will be 200. So what we can say, S1 is 
5 t square plus 50 t minus of 5 t square equals 200. Now magically these two are cancelling out. So 50 t equals 200. So t equals how much? 4 seconds. And that my friends is the answer. t equals 4 seconds. So do you think this question was difficult? It was not. It was a very simple question. The only key you needed to understand was time. That both the balls will travel for the exact same time. Now you know what? Tomorrow I can give you exact same question and increase the level of difficulty a little bit. How? I can also say also find the height from the ground where the ball hits each other. Or maybe I can omit this thing. How much time thing? Maybe tomorrow I'll omit and give you only this much. Find the height. The point at which they will meet and how far that point is from maybe Arden or maybe Kevin. I can ask that, right? So what will you do? Time, anyways, you'll have to find. Then you can do is S2 is something you need to find, no? How? How? Find the height of ground where the ball hits each other from the ground. Means from Kevin, the boy who was on the ground. So that's why. 50t minus 5t square. S2, this was something which we already found. And t is 4 seconds we have already found. So S2 comes out to be how much? 50 multiplied by 4 minus of 5 into 4 square. So this is how much? 200 minus of... Oh, just, just one second. Minus of uh, 5 into 4 square. 4 square is 16. So this is 200 minus of 16 into 5 is 80. So this is 120, right? 120 meters. And that's why the answer is 120 meters. The point is 120 meters above the ground where these two balls are hitting each other. All right. So with this question, I would say, please don't be afraid of equations of motion. Maybe, maybe they are not mentioned in your syllabus, at least for CBSC students. But you know what? They're not different. If you know graphs, you know equations of motion. Nice. It's all correlated, right? So we always say this, we have got you covered. And you know what? We, yes, we have. By the way, like, share and subscribe. If you feel this was an important video, it was a good video, like it. Share it with your friends. Make sure that they also know about this and subscribe. That is most important. Otherwise, you won't know what we are doing, right? So subscribe and we'll meet again. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.